All right, Jason Murphy, I'm gonna show you a cool vanishing knot trick, right? Okay. You start with a regular rope, you do what looks like a bow tie like you do on your laces. You pull everything through the loops, it gets pulled tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter. There you go. So you get a big old gnarly thing. That's a cool trick. Yeah, no. <laughs> now reach for it with your hand. Grab the knot. Yep, 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 okay. yep. And then it vanishes just like that. That is really slick. Very satisfying. Uh, yeah, no, it feels good even in your hands, yeah. right? Uh, I find myself like making this over and over and over again on ropes. So this is a move that's used in a bunch of different rope routines. And it's great because it is just a slip knot that doesn't look like a slip knot at all. It's much more complicated. If you just do this guy, most people will recognize it as a slip knot and not be fooled by it. Whereas this guy looks so much bigger and more gnarly that people are convinced that it's a standalone knot that won't go away when you pluck it. So it's inherently satisfying and easier than you think. You wanna learn it? Uh, I do, yes. Ever wish you could be in two different spots at, at the, the same, same time? time? Well, that's dumb because that would be magic. And we all know magic's not real, but you know what is real? The incredible value of our friends over at Domain.com. Fast, easy, reliable domains and get 15% off using promo code SCAMSCHOOL at checkout. Now that's multiple miracles at once. There's no trees back here, are there? <laughs> okay, I'm good. I first learned this when I learned Daryl's jumping knot of Pakistan routine. And it goes like this. You're gonna start like you're choking up on a bat. Like okay. this, right? And now you're just gonna move till you're driving a car. Nope. No? <laughs> Here, uh, fo follow what I'm doing, okay. right? Okay, yeah. so notice that my right hand is on top. Oh, oh, oh. There okay. you go, yeah, there yeah, you go. Yeah. <laughs> and and then you. left hand. And now uh, get a little bit of a gap, and now you have it in. Okay? Yep. Now you're gonna do two scissors, right? Two scissors. Okay. And then your uh, index finger on top, your right side is gonna pinch down here. Again, uh, index finger on top. Your left side is gonna pinch on top of your right hand. Index fingers on top. Mm -hmm. Now here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna start pulling them through like this, but as soon as, we're gonna go in slow motion together because this part is easy to screw up. I want you to start pulling them apart. And then as soon as you're able to, watch, wait, wait stop. Now what, what I'm gonna do is I'm keeping my index fingers in the exact same spot, but I'm gonna go from palms facing towards me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna rotate to palms facing out with two okay symbols pinching on it. Okay. You got it? Now we're gonna keep on pulling and you have that first part, that bow. So, so let's just redo that first yeah. part. So you're gonna start like you, you have a bat, you're gonna get a little bit of distance. Okay, right hand on top. You're gonna make the end. Like that. Two scissors. Mm -hmm. You're gonna do, your right hand mm -hmm. is gonna come in on this side closer to your chest. Ah, okay. And your palm is gonna kinda go up with your right hand. There you go. Your left hand is gonna uh, grab on top of the right hand, again with your palm facing towards you. Mm -hmm. There you go. You're gonna pull apart until the moment you're able, you switch, there you go. Now this looks like a traditional bunny ears knot, but it, it is not, so to speak. So you gotta pull it nice and tight. This is, this is your moment to get it okay. as tight as you can. Yep. Now this by itself will come apart just on its own, mm -hmm. but in order to get that awesome gnarly knot, we're going to now, your right hand is gonna go in the bunny ears and pull out one side. There you go, that's right. Now okay. your left hand is gonna go in the bunny ears mm -hmm. and it's got a longer way to go because if you did it right, this is towards your chest. Yep. So you're gonna go a long way around, grab it, pull it through. Now here's the, there you go. Ah, okay, now we're gonna pull it tighter and tighter and tighter. Tighter and tighter and tighter. Okay, now don't, don't overdo it. You wanna take your time. Right. And you should get this big gnarly knot. Okay, we'll see if you did it right. Okay. At this point, you would have somebody cover with their sure. hand or you can kind of rub it down and you go one, two, three. Yeah, <laughs> you got it. Isn't that satisfying? That is really cool. So you get the double whammy of like, boom, tied bow tie instantly. And then you get what looks increasingly like a gnarled mess. And then finally, boom. Oh. Isn't that great? I love it. <laughs> You're like, I love it. Don't ask me to do it again. <laughs> oh, I will say that it feels and works better with cotton rope, like clothesline, rather than the synthetic stuff. The synthetic stuff doesn't want to make it look as good of a knot as it really can. So if you can, make sure to use cotton.